like, oh my god, the way she walked, the way she talked. She and we back with another reaction video. Yeah, I ain't do one of these videos in a minute. I ain't do a reaction video in a minute, but I'm like, I gotta get something uploaded for my people. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I ain't, uh, like I said, life been busy, bro, but it ain't been bad. You know what I'm saying? But you're all part of my life, so I'm like, I gotta get something up uploaded for them. I ain't uploaded in almost two weeks, you know what I'm saying? I can't be going out like that. I gotta get something uploaded for y'all, because y'all are part of my life. Y'all my family. Uh, and they a birthday less than two weeks, so what I want from y'all is a like and a subscription on the channel, man. Make sure y'all share the channel, man. Make sure y'all turn on them post notifications. Uh, today we're gonna be reacting to, like, you feel me? Things we should know about GTA 6, you hear me? Uh, you feel me? I'm excited, you feel me, for GTA 6. We ain't getting no GTA in a decade, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to see what we got coming, you feel me, what, sh what we should expect because I know I'm going to be one of the first people on the game when they drop, you know what I'm saying, and doing a lot of streaming. So make sure y'all go subscribe to my gaming channel. I'll probably start streaming on here, but you know what I'm saying, it, it, eventually it's going to trans over. It's going to transfer into my gaming channel. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. GTA 6 will be targeted more towards kids. GTA 6 will be targeted more towards kids, similar to Fortnite. This is due to GTA's. Did you see what y'all just said? GTA 6 will be targeted more towards kids. The game is mature. No, right away, bro. You couldn't even go in the store without being 17 or older to buy that game, bro. Then y'all gonna bring up some Fortnite. Fortnite ain't hitting no more. His current young player base. That was just one of the things. His current young player base. That was just one of the things you need to know about GTA 6. I'll be taking you through all the GTA 6 leaks we have so that you are ready for the game once it releases. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. Well, first off, when playing GTA 6, you will have to refill the gas in your car throughout the game. Otherwise, your car will run out of fuel and stop working. It might be. On the game plan, I used to pull up to gas stations and do that anyway. I don't know if it was just me or if any of y'all did it, but I used to just do that anyway. Time to say goodbye to the constant reliance. Like Time to say goodbye to the constant reliance on mini maps in GTA 6. Recent leaked clips surrounding Twitter suggest that some car interiors will come equipped with a functional GPS system. Now, you can navigate the city like a pro without the need for distracting HUD elements. This improvement promises a more immersive and seamless gameplay experience, and the only way to know where you are going is through the GPS system in your car. Furthermore, GTA 6 is taking notes from its predecessors, Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5, when it comes to the ammo count UI. In these games, the UI has been really good, however. In the latest leaks, we've seen a brand new UI for tracking our precious bullets. The revamped design will keep players engaged, ensuring they never run out of bullets during intense firefights. Moreover, I hope you guys remember the good old days in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, where you could deliver pizzas as a side gig. Well, it seems like Rockstar is bringing back the delivery feature in GTA 6. Leaked code lines hint at potential delivery missions, adding more depth to the gameplay, and offering players an alternative way to make some cash in Vice City. This will make the game a lot more realistic, and we will probably see delivery apps such as DoorDash and Grubhub added as well to add to the realism of the game. Now, what? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Get ready for a more diverse cast of characters. Get ready for a more diverse cast of characters in GTA, bro. I love the feature, though. You feel me? Who am I to say, but it's GTA. GTA 6. The game will showcase characters. GTA 6. The game will showcase characters of varying heights, reflecting a more realistic representation of real-life individuals. Lucia, one of the characters, stands at around 5 foot 2, while Jason is towering at 6 foot 2. This attention to detail and character design is sure to enhance the immersive experience. GTA 6 is also pushing the boundaries of AI technology. Unlike past games where pedestrians roamed individually, the AI in the new installment will behave more realistically. Pedestrians will interact in groups, making the world feel more alive and dynamic. Imagine walking into a club as Lucia exits. This level of realism will surely keep players engaged throughout their adventure. Virtual, virtual reality. I'm here for it. In GTA 6, 
Adventures. In GTA 6, your actions will have consequences beyond just police chases. Crimes committed by the player may end up captured on CCTV cameras scattered throughout the city. Additionally, you may hear about your escapades through media coverage on Weasel News and social media sites. This feature adds a new layer of immersion and makes us think twice before causing chaos. Leaks hints at gangs playing a significant role in GTA 6's story. The debug menus reveal character names related to gangs, reminiscent of the classic GTA San Andreas style. Furthermore, there's a satirical take. San Andreas. Ain't gonna lie. Me personally, I love San Andreas. That's my favorite GTA of all time, man. Comment below your favorite GTA of all time. Like the one y'all love to play. Like the one that was just the best to y'all. Me personally, it's San Andreas, though. Take on homeowners associations through the Vice City Neighborhood Enhancement Team. Expect some hilarious and intense moments as you navigate through gang-infested neighborhoods. GTA 6 might introduce a location icon that displays the distance to your desired location, similar to mechanics seen in games like Far Cry. And if that's not exciting enough, more leaks hint at the possible inclusion of horses in the game. Although previously cut from GTA 5, it could be a feature left over from Red Dead Redemption 2. The prospect of horseback rides in the city is both thrilling and unexpected. GTA 6 might bring back collectibles in a whole new way. Me personally, bro, I'm a big fan of Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, all the features on that, like, dragging people off the horses, dragging people with horses, and, you know, Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption was really just ahead of its time, bro. I gotta get that game, but you feel me? Break my scale. Inspired by Red Dead Redemption 2. Inspired by Red Dead Redemption 2, players may find loot boxes with valuable items hidden throughout the vast world. This feature was well received in RDR2, and its inclusion in GTA 6 promises to keep players hooked as they explore every nook and cranny. Moving on, GTA 6 introduces a revolutionary feature: the need for characters to sleep periodically. Neglecting this basic need will have significant consequences on your character's health and regeneration. La Man, tell me y'all bringing San Andreas back without telling me y'all bringing San Andreas back. As long as I can work out and get big, though. You feel me? Because that's all I wanted to do. The moment I can hit the gym, I'm in that bitch. Ugh. They say, go home and go to sleep if you want to come back. All right, go home, say the game, and I'm coming back. Lack of proper rest will cause their health to slow Lack of proper rest will cause their health to slowly decrease, regeneration to slow down, and their view to gradually blur. In extreme cases, your character might even black out for a short period. This mechanic applies even during missions and gunfights, making it crucial to keep your character well rested. Additionally, the game features a dynamic stress system that directly affects how well your character sleep, bro. I gotta go to sleep. You heard me. I gotta go take me a nap. Various factors can sleep and function. Various factors contribute to your character's stress levels, including engaging in gunfights, dealing with drug withdrawals, attracting police attention, and facing work pressure. Each character in GTA 6. <laughs> Bro. Bro. What? reacts differently to stress, making the gameplay game experience unique and immersive. We're excited to announce that casinos are back in GTA 6, and this time, you can gamble online. However, be cautious, as your character can become addicted to gambling, drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. Each substance comes with a different level of addictiveness, and if your character becomes addicted, they'll experience withdrawal symptoms, increased stress levels, and health deterioration. Failing to indulge in their addictions can lead to negative consequences, and if you completely sober on GTA 6. Don't ask me to drink, don't ask me to smoke. Or I might smoke a little bit. But don't ask me to do no other drugs. And you stay your crackhead ass over there. You switch away from your character. They might seek out. You switch away from your character. They might seek out their addictions, harming themselves physically and financially. The legendary rapper and producer Dr. Dre hosts his very own in-game radio station called The Pharmacy. Players will groove to the beats of his iconic 2001 album, along with a selection of other titles. Whether you're cruising through the streets of Vice City or engaging in a high-speed chase, Dr. Dre's music will be your constant companion, setting the tone for your adventures. GTA 6 introduces a credit card system that allows players to apply for a credit card at a bank or online. This enables them to make purchases, even if they don't have the funds available. However, there's no such thing as free money in the world of Grand Theft Auto. If you make a purchase on credit, you have- hey, real life. A credit card, though, in a game, bruh? I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Like, real life. Like, real life. Virtual reality.
You have seven days to pay it back with interest. Failure to do so will lead to the bank sending goons after you, seeking to collect the debt by force. You'll have to repay the full amount along with your medical expenses and any items you bought on credit. If you still can't afford to repay, the cycle repeats, giving you another seven days before the goons come knocking again. In GTA 6, you can be sued and forced to pay compensation to the victims of your crimes or their family members. On the flip side, if you're the victim of- I'm in the middle of terrorizing the whole city. What if I just feel like that that day? You feel me? I want to get on the game and release my motherfucking stress. And y'all want to, and, and somebody come out of nowhere with a lawsuit? Because I don't knock their motherfucking cousin out? of a crime and the police catch the perpetrator, you can sue them for damages. This legal system makes your actions in the game world more consequential and adds a new layer of depth to the overall gameplay. One of the characters in GTA 6, Lucia, is a cop. She starts the game with a VCPD buffalo as her patrol car. However, players need to be careful because if this car gets destroyed, they'll need to buy another one from the department's budget. This unique feature adds a sense of responsibility and realism to playing as a cop. In the world of GTA 6, you're not alone in dealing with the chaos of Vice City. You can call for police backup, ambulance, fire service, and even the Coast Guards for help. As Lucia being a cop, you can also request assistance from Noose and FIB. However, be warned that the FIB will take credit for any crimes they assist in, and your VCPD department will not be rewarded. Calling Noose is expensive and should be reserved for the most serious situations. Crossing a gang in GTA 6 can lead to severe consequences. If you get into trouble with another gang, they might hunt you down, perform a drive-by, or initiate a shootout. Moreover, if you cross the mafia, they might send a highly skilled hitman after you, adding an extra layer of danger and excitement to the game. Not all money in GTA 6 comes from crime. Jason, another character in the game, can obtain legitimate jobs, each with unique gameplay elements. highly skilled hitman after you, adding an extra layer of danger and excitement to the game. Not all money in GTA 6 comes from crime. Jason, another a character in the game, can obtain legitimate jobs, each with unique gameplay elements. He can become a soldier, paramedic, delivery driver, or firefighter, among other roles. These jobs offer a different perspective on the world of GTA 6, providing players with a break from the usual criminal activities and adding depth to Jason's character. Moving on, your characters in GTA 6 aren't lone wolves. They can develop friendships and business relationships with other characters in the game. Some of these characters, like Jacob Hughes, play important roles in the story, but the social interactions aren't limited to key characters. Your characters can also befriend random civilians, which sounds really interesting as it opens up new possibilities for interaction and storytelling within the game. Ever wished you could take the music of GTA with you wherever you go? In GTA 6, you can. Your character can wear headphones to listen to radio stations on foot. Whether you're exploring the city or engaged in a mission, your favorite tunes will all- uh, I think they added that to 2K18. We're gonna throw the headphones and listen. Like, great, but maybe stop liking it, but I love that feature. That's a great feature. Always be with you. Enhancing the immersive experience. Always be with you. Enhancing the immersive experience and adding a personal touch to your gameplay. The television experience in GTA 6 is more immersive than ever before. Televisions now have schedules, and you can set alerts on your phone to remind you of upcoming shows. You can tune into reality shows, comedy series, drama series, and even sporting events. Each series has multiple episodes that air according to a schedule. And the best part is that your actions in and out of missions can affect the news broadcasts on radio and TV, making the game world feel alive and reactive. Each character in GTA 6 has their own sports preferences. Jason is a basketball fan and supports the Carcer City team. Lucia, on the other hand, is a football fan and a huge supporter of the Mambas. Moreover, Lucia's late husband was a tennis fan, and she finds sentimental value in the sport. These unique sports preferences add depth to the characters and make them feel more human and relatable. Interesting enough, every character in GTA 6 has a preferred weapon. And interestingly, each one prefers a different type of weapon. For example, Jason might prefer assault rifles, while Lucia might favor handguns this is on uh, GTA 5 like Franklin can drive Michael can shoot and Trevor just a crash out rage 
Small detail adds another layer of personality. Small detail adds another layer of personality to the characters and makes their playstyles unique. As we've seen before, the lives of characters in GTA 6 are intertwined in interesting ways. For instance, Jason occasionally ends up in a cell at the VCPD station, and Lucia, being a cop, has to release him. If you switch to Jason without releasing him first, he will be locked in the cell for a few minutes, and the character switch feature will be locked until Lucia comes to release him. This feature emphasizes the interconnectedness of the characters' lives and adds an extra challenge to the gameplay. Social media plays a significant role in GTA 6. Each character has their own Bleeder and Life Invader accounts, and they can interact with other characters in impressive detail. This feature allows players to dive deeper into the characters' lives and personalities, providing a more immersive experience and adding another dimension to the game. Okay. Who? Let me look at your 2K card. Oh, you trash. I'm gone. Or you good. I'm gonna play with you. I like in GTA 6, you will be rewarded with In GTA 6, you will be rewarded with cryptocurrency when finishing a mission, as cash is very hard to obtain in the world of GTA 6. Imagine a world beyond the launch of GTA 6, where the concrete jungles expand and a GTA, like, I don't like it's gonna be no cheat <laughs> cities emerge. It's not just vice Additional cities emerge. It's not just Vice City we're talking about. The excitement escalates as we contemplate the prospects of new urban playgrounds, offering fresh opportunities for crime, adventure, and chaos. The map is adaptable and will evolve over time. This will happen both in the story mode version as the player progresses through the story and will happen in GTA 6 Online as well. Rockstar Games is going to host in-game live events with the changing map, similar to other games. This will make the online experience much more diverse and immersive, and it will be interesting to see how Rockstar takes usage of this feature. Moreover, brace yourselves for a game-changing approach to firearms. Limited gun carrying capacity will have you making tactical decisions, trading space for firepower. Different sizes of weapons take up slots, leading to exhilarating dilemmas in the heat of the action. And just when you thought you had it all figured out, enter the potential double bag, a lifesaver for increased inventory that comes with its own twist. In this evolving world, Just to have it on there, great, great feature, great feature. I love a Duffy, bro. And he's like, if you a GTA fan, bro, or, 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 or big on GTA Online, bro, you already know that Duffy, what it was, you was him if you had that Duffy on, bro. Store robberies are getting a makeover with a real store robberies are getting a makeover with a realistic system that'll have you planning, executing, and evading like never before. When aiming at NPCs, you will be able to choose your next action. You can kill or attack the NPC, as well as you can take NPCs as hostages, which will set you and the cops in a negotiable situation. True crime in there. If y'all don't know what true crime is, bro, I might throw it up on the screen, but you should know. Okay. Where you can potentially leave with money and a getaway Where you can potentially leave with money and a getaway vehicle. The adrenaline rush of a heist has never been this tangible, but the real magic lies in the details. Rockstar plans to use modern artificial intelligence technology for GTA 6 through their new and improved Rage Engine. You will be able to speak to any NPC on the street where they will be three-dimensional characters and lives of their own. Improved NPC conversations create a world that feels more alive and immersive. Your interactions with the inhabitants of Vice City will go beyond beyond mere words, drawing you deeper into the web of stories and experiences that await. Going further, let's talk online. Get ready to rub shoulders with a bustling 32-player lobby in GTA Online. The chaos, camaraderie, and mayhem have just multiplied, promising a gaming experience that's as dynamic as it is unforgettable. Equip yourself with 16 confirmed equipment items that promise to enhance your gameplay experience. From gadgets to tools, these items will be your trusty companions as you navigate the challenges of Vice City. GTA 6 won't be making its way to the aging PS4 and Xbox One consoles. It's time to upgrade to the next generation, as the breathtaking world of Vice City demands the power and- PS4? What's Solomon you say? Solomon you say? You're to say you're My God! Performance of the latest hardware. And as we look ahead performance of the latest hardware. And as we look ahead to the release date, Take-Two Interactive's CEO has spoken. Within the most recent earnings call for Take-Two Interactive, Strauss Zelnick has confirmed that 2024 will be their best year to date, generating value upwards of over $2.5 billion. This essentially confirms that GTA 6 is slated to drop between 2024 and 2025. With the promise of unprecedented success on the horizon, it's no wonder the anticipation is reaching fever pitch. 
Although Take-Two has ensured us that 2024 will be their best year, it is still a potential chance that GTA 6 will be delayed further into 2025 due to the major community backlash over the announcement of the recent Red Dead Redemption Remaster. Or conversion, as they call it, as the remaster is just a simple port from PlayStation 3 onto PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. But let's dive deeper. Imagine experiencing combat from a character's shoulder view. It's a perspective shift that adds a new layer of realism, pushing you to think on your feet and stay sharp in the midst of chaos. Rockstar Games is planning to evolve GTA 6's physics and graphical What up, you gang, dude? I'm just thinking about it, bro. I think about it. Development and take it to new unreached heights. Development and take it to new unreached heights in the gaming world. With the involvement of the newly upgraded Rockstar Advanced Game Engine and the Euphoria Animation Engine, vehicle damage takes on a new significance in GTA 6, with engines smoking and sputtering as they edge closer to the brink of collapse. In GTA 6, it's not just about aesthetics, it's about survival. If you guys don't know, GTA 5 does not have dedicated servers which has led to a lot of issues with hackers and modders, and you would expect Rockstar Games to learn from these mistakes in GTA 6. Well, recent leaks have surfaced at the fact that GTA 6 won't come with dedicated servers for its online mode, a decision that's sure to spark discussions in the gaming community. The map of GTA 6 is reported to be an expansive masterpiece, combining the size of the RDR2 and GTA 5 maps, with iconic locations like Cottonmouth, Carcer City, Liberty State, and more on the horizon. It's a playground that promises to grow and evolve over time. And as we wind down this journey, let's pay homage to classic pastimes. Bowling, tennis, cinemas, and golf take on a new life in GTA 6. Offering experiences that are more immersive and engaging than ever before. So get ready to tee off, serve up, and strike out as you explore Vice City's leisurely delights. Imagine a GTA where loading times become a thing of the past. Yes, you heard it right. Rockstar is on a mission to supercharge realism, and they're doing it by... But, uh, the, the remaster GTA 5, bro. Slashing loading times for interiors. Slashing loading times for interiors. No more waiting when you step into a building. It's seamless immersion all the way. And that's not all. You're about to explore an expansive world where every building is your playground. No more pesky loading screens when you step into a place. It's true freedom, a key feature GTA has been craving. Get ready to embrace Mother Nature in all her glory. GTA 6 is setting its sights on dynamic weather systems that change based on in-game time and location. No more magically consistent weather across the map. Picture this. Hurricanes and tornadoes tornadoes shaking up the city, impacting gameplay, and turning the realism up several notches. It's a bold move that's sure to spark both awe and controversy, but that's what sets GTA 6 apart, its commitment to pushing boundaries. Moreover, in a recent interview, the CEO of Take-Two Interactive disclosed that the release date for GTA 6 is facing a delay, and a significant portion of the story mode's content will be held back for future DLCs. A prime example of this pertains to the scaled-down map of GTA 6. Originally, the game was envisioned to encompass regions of both North and South America, but these expansive plans were trimmed in favor of a fictional iteration of Miami or Vice City, as it's known to fans. It's disheartening that we won't be able to explore the full expanse of the game right from the start. However, there's a silver lining. There's optimism that the withheld content could potentially make its way to players a few months or even years after the official launch. Naturally, this revelation has sparked concerns about the overall caliber of the game and its depth of gameplay. Fans are worried that rushing the development to meet deadlines Lines, might compromise the storytelling and overall experience, possibly leading to a scenario akin to the turbulent launch of Cyberpunk 2077. Yet, rest assured, GT. Hey bro, don't compare this to nothing to Cyberpunk. That game was terrible. 
EA6 remains on a trajectory to become a masterpiece upon its release, steering clear of the pitfalls that beset Cyberpunk. Turning our focus, there's speculation that GTA 6 could potentially be locked at 30 frames per second on consoles. Many fans are let down by this, given the contemporary trend of games striving for higher frame rates. Should this hold true, it could impede the fluidity of gameplay, particularly considering the high-paced nature of GTA titles. This choice seems regressive, especially considering that the next-gen consoles are more than capable of achieving 60 frames per second. This decision has ignited debates in the gaming community, prompting discussions about whether the game will truly harness the hardware's potential. According to the most recent earnings call from Take-Two Interactive, GTA 6 will incorporate controversial microtransactions, resembling those seen in GTA 5 Online, if not worse. These reports have ignited concerns about the inclusion of pay-to-win mechanics and their potential impact on the overall gameplay. While Red Dead Redemption 2 steered clear of this path, Take-Two's ambitious revenue objectives for GTA 6 indicate that microtransactions might play a substantial role. Furthermore, whispers in the grapevine suggest a shift towards an online-centric orientation, sparking worries among fans who hold the rich, single-player campaigns of past GTA titles in high regard. The potential compromise of a robust single-player experience for the sake of online gameplay has spurred debates about the game's strategic direction. In previous GTA titles such as GTA 4, the driving experience was much more difficult as the player had to face some challenge in order to be a good driver. However, driving was much easier in GTA 5. Rockstar Games is reportedly going to mix the easy driving in GTA 5 and the difficult driving in GTA 4 in order to make the driving experience in GTA 6 both immersive and fun at the same time. In addition, GTA 6 will feature realistic speed limits. Cars in GTA 5 could not go higher than 120 miles per hour, while in GTA 6, this will not be the case. Cars will be able to go way above 200 miles and even go to... Three hundred, if not all the way to four hundred miles per hour, with the fastest of the fastest supercars. This will make the game a lot more realistic, as this is something previous GTA titles have failed to do. This is why I think GTA 6 is already much better than GTA 5. Moreover, in today's gaming landscape, sustaining a game's. We only seventeen minutes into the video. This is twenty-seven minute video. It's definitely better than GTA 5. Popularity over time. Not San Andreas yet. Popularity over time. Yeah. Is a formidable challenge. Often the is a formidable challenge. Often, the initial buzz surrounding a game dwindles rapidly. GTA 6, however, is charting a course by releasing content incrementally, which could counteract this trend, maintaining player engagement through the allure of ongoing updates. This approach aims to avert the predicament of players losing interest after completing the story mode, a concern GTA 5 grappled with due to its emphasis on online gameplay. In GTA 6, you will have to go to the gym and train your character, otherwise your character will become fat and die of obesity. Prepare for a seismic. Yes, yes. Hey, I just said, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all can't lie like I just said that earlier in the video, bro. That's okay, San Andreas. I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. Rockstar Games, has officially... Rockstar Games has officially acquired CFXRE, the entity behind cherished Rockstar role-playing servers such as 5M and Red M. This acquisition heralds a groundbreaking shift. GTA 6's online component will feature an integrated role-play mechanic. That's right. No more hassle of downloading third-party apps just to role-play in GTA. You can now... Now immerse yourself in the roleplay experience directly from the game itself. Furthermore, leaks reveal a more intricate system that turns heists into an art form. You'll be able to identify cameras, safes, and valuable items during your escapades, creating a thrilling and engaging experience. Experience. This level of interaction adds a layer of realism that keeps you on the edge of your seat. But wait, there's more. Imagine stepping into the dark underbelly of Vice City with a functional flashlight that automatically turns on when you need it. This small yet impactful addition not only guides your path, but also adds a touch of realism to your every move. GTA 6 takes it up a notch with a resourceful inventory filled with items like wine, fruit, and soda for health replenishment. But it doesn't stop there. Carrying first aid kits, trauma kits, and prescription pills adds a layer of realism to your character's survival strength. So you tell him you can get burnt in the game? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me stop playing. And handling bodies? Yes. 
How did you? And handling bodies? Yes, that's part of the deal too. Making your criminal exploits feel all the more authentic. But remember, every action has consequences. Surrendering to authorities is now an option, adding a dynamic element to your interactions with the law. This is similar to GTA 5, although now you will have an action choice pop up on the screen, and your choice of action will lead to you either being in jail, escaping to the airport, or lying dead in a trench somewhere. It's not just about evading cops, it's about strategic decision making that shapes your storyline. Clothing in GTA games has been a fan favorite for decades, and Rockstar Games is taking this to unprecedented heights with the next GTA game. GTA 6 introduces realistic wrinkles, dirt, and sweat on your clothes. The attention to detail is impeccable, making you feel like your character truly lives and breathes in this virtual world. And let's not forget about the dynamic reality. Motherfucking clothes, you feel me? You can't have that same fit on, but you feel me. That's tough. Actions of NPCs. Based on your character actions of NPCs. Based on your character's appearance and cleanliness, NPCs will treat you differently, just as they would in real life. If you wear a suit, the NPCs are more likely to respect you, while if you wear poor clothing, they are more likely to be annoyed and will leave the room. It's these little touches that truly immerse you in the bustling cityscape. But enough about dry land, let's hit the tracks. Metro trains invite you to explore the vast cityscape like never before. And while you're at it, why not target easy scores for quick cash? Cunning cop traps and being on the run in a camper van add thrilling elements that keep you coming back for more. GTA 6 ensures that even the most whimsical details count. Bubblegum machines pepper the city, adding a touch of playfulness to the urban landscape. This feature will make you feel immersed into the world of GTA 6, and it will truly feel like Vice City is a real city with real human beings that live their life when you don't even have your console turned on, adding another layer of realism. GTA 6 will include over 1,300 random events all over the map, changing based on your location and the time of day. From finding missing persons to unraveling enigmatic plots, GTA 6 offers a captivating side that keeps you invested beyond the usual action-packed gameplay. Speaking of action, criminal exploits demand an assortment of tools, from lockpicks to hacking devices. The world is your oyster, and you have the tools to pry it open, but don't forget to explore the depths below. Aquatic exploration through swimming, surfing, and scuba diving unveils a whole new world beneath the city's surface. And if that's not enough adrenaline for you, backyard wrestling matches offer a different kind of thrill. Watch out for danger, though. Rabid dogs add a potential element of surprise, making every corner of the city an unpredictable adventure. And who doesn't dream of owning property? GTA 6 fulfills this dream with multiple safe houses, each reflecting your character's unique taste. Property ownership adds a layer of personal investment in the world around you. Enhanced drive-bys and increased combat ability for passengers make those intense moments even more thrilling and The realism doesn't stop there. You can stuff bodies. The realism doesn't stop there. You can stuff bodies in car trunks, adding a touch of gritty authenticity to your criminal escapades. Need some quick cash? Pawn shops are your answer. But remember, if you're not careful, this new feature could lead to unforeseen consequences, adding another layer of realism and challenge to the game. Vehicle types change based on location, giving you an authentic sense of the world you're exploring. Now let's talk about firepower. GTA 6 revolutionizes weapon usage, from hanging out of car windows and engaging in seamless cop chases to interacting with a wide range of items, including money, USB sticks, weapons, and clothing. The game's attention to detail immerses you in every aspect of its world. Speaking of characters, each one boasts unique abilities. These abilities add depth to your gameplay, making every character an integral part of your experience. Hunting takes center stage in GTA 6, introducing a mechanic reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption 2. The ability to hunt, skin, and cook animals offers not only a means of survival, but also a unique way to rejuvenate your health and core. Now, let's get down to customization. GTA 6 lets you customize vehicles through an interaction menu, saving you the hassle of traveling to a custom shop. However, if you're feeling nostalgic, you can still go old school and visit a shop for that personal touch, and the interaction doesn't stop there. GTA 6 introduces the groundbreaking ability to share items with characters nearby, fostering a sense of camaraderie and interconnectedness rarely seen in open-world games. The city's NPCs vary in body shapes and sizes, creating a truly immersive urban environment that mirrors real-life diversity. 
university. But don't get too comfortable during your heists. A timer for police response keeps you on your toes, urging you to time your exits perfectly. These small touches add a sense of urgency and reality to your criminal escapades. Speaking of police interactions, GTA 6 takes it to a new level. DUI tests, car searches, and AI car crashes provide dynamic scenarios that add depth to your encounters with law enforcement. Now let's talk about potential side businesses and stores. GTA 6 expands the game world by including drug trafficking as a side business, further immersing you in the seedy underbelly of Vice City. But be warned, witnesses matter. Eliminating them before they report your crimes to the police adds another layer of strategy and realism to your criminal activities. And when it comes to realism, GTA 6 goes the extra mile. Shop hours vary based on the time of day, adding an extra touch of authenticity to the game world. But the realism doesn't stop at shop hours. Characters have personal dislikes and daily mood variations, giving them a depth rarely seen in open-world games. Their purchasing choices reflect their personalities, making every interaction a unique experience that adds depth to the city's lifelike atmosphere. In the world of GTA 6, even mundane activities have consequences. The sleep option during transport seems harmless, but it comes with risks. Sleep with caution, as getting robbed during your nap is a very real danger. Dates aren't just about appearance. They involve activities, attire, and behavior preferences. This attention to detail makes every date a truly immersive experience. Realism shines even in physical exertion. A visible sweat mechanic reflects your character's effort and stress levels, making your every move feel tangible and real. And when you're at the airport, expect an immersive security experience that affects your actions and behavior just as it would in real life. Moreover, flying inside commercial planes with interiors adds a new level of realism to your travels. Private jets take your travel experiences to new heights, while the option to employ household staff adds a touch of luxury and immersion to your in-game life. But the adventure doesn't end with the main game. Rockstar plans two single-player DLCs, expanding the story post-launch and giving players even more to explore. Exciting world events are also on the horizon. Leaks suggest a winged suit accident, hinting at wingsuits in GTA 6. Imagine soaring over Vice City, adding an exhilarating layer to your adventures. But let's not forget about character switching. GTA 6 introduces... Instant character switching without loading delays. Instant character switching without loading delays. This seamless transition between protagonists keeps the action flowing, ensuring your engagement never wanes. And that's not all. Inventory management gets a facelift too. With improved layout and separate categories, tracking your equipment, weapons, and gear has never been easier. This intuitive design keeps you in the game and minimizes distractions. Water mechanics also receive a boost. GTA 6 boasts a team of 30 engineers dedicated to crafting realistic water physics. Surfing, swimming, and scuba diving come alive with stunning accuracy, immersing you in the deep blue world. Cuba likely makes its appearance in the GTA 6 map, playing a significant role in the storyline and missions. The inclusion of Cuba adds a new layer of intrigue and international flavor to the game's narrative. And speaking of narrative, the theme of dealing with drug cartels and trafficking emerges due to Cuba's presence. This gritty narrative element adds depth to the storyline, making every mission feel like a crucial part of the world you inhabit. And let's not forget where it all begins. GTA 6 is initial mission involves robbing a diner, reminiscent of GTA 5's iconic bank heist start. This nod to previous successes creates an instant sense of nostalgia while setting the tone for the upcoming adventure. GTA 6 is a treasure trove of Easter eggs, just waiting to be discovered. These hidden gems add a layer of excitement to your explorations, rewarding your curiosity. Rockstar Games is planning to reveal GTA 6 later in 2023, possibly with the yearly Game Awards happening in November. So make sure to lock your eyes in the calendar and fasten your seatbelts, because the reveal of GTA 6 is very close. That does mark all the recent GTA 6 leaks that popped up the last few days. However, I can't wait, bro. If y'all can't wait, bro, man, leave a like on the channel, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, bro. Shout out to Luke C97. I'm gonna give you a subscription, bro, because that was a great video, great editing, bro. I love it. I'm gonna leave a like on the channel, bro. And, uh, yeah, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. I'm like, oh my God, the way she walked, the way she talked, she got me like.